Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to There Will Be Trivia. This is the team's tournament, and this is round one. We're wrapping up round one now, and it's one of those things that this is a part of the bracket that could either be a super um, sleeper team, you know, or it could be one of those where as soon as they go up against, let's just put it this way, my side of the bracket where it's juggernauts, apparently, then uh, they'll be, you know, dealing with that then. But before we get into that, John, how are you feeling about um, in general and also how are you feeling about today's match? I'm feeling good. It's good to be here at your official home for movie trivia on the internet. Uh, there will be there will be trivia, movies, teams edition. Um, but I'm feeling good about this match today. You know, I like all these guys, and we've seen them all play. We know we know they know their stuff. We, we don't allow people in here that are unproven. So I'm excited to see uh, who matches up better. Like you know, R Russ and Malcolm, like they said, new team, but they both know their stuff. Let's see how they do. Steve and uh, Brian, I've seen them team. They they do pretty well everywhere. So uh, I'm I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and hear from them right now. And here we are, Malcolm. Who would have thought? <laughs> no, it's it's going to be fun. Um, look, I know Stephen Bourne from Round League, but it should be fun play playing them. Yeah, I mean, I, I I know Steve. Obviously, I don't know his partner very well, but uh, looking forward to competing against them, and looking forward to seeing what uh, what kind of team chemistry you and I have. So this should be pretty exciting. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, Steve, we're here. Uh, we beat Malcolm before in, in the JPO's league, so what do you have to say for this? Well, I gotta say, one does not simply walk into There Will Be Movies without an ounce of movie trivia knowledge. And that's what we have between both of us. I mean, between me and you, we're gonna dominate this league. I'm telling you, man, we're, we're the dynamic duo of of this league and we're going to dominate every single team that we face. It's a no offense to Brian and Malcolm, but for us, they're merely I mean, Russell, Russell Malcolm. Russell Malcolm. Sorry. See, I'm already forgetting names at this point. It's just at this moment, I'm just focusing on the on the on our on our throne on our on our crown of of, of ultimate achievement. So they're just merely a stepping stone for what we will be consider a greatness. I think he's already was that good to begin with. Uh, I'm not gonna say that, but you said it, not me. That's correct. All right, so definitely two different styles of pre-talk promos. Yeah, however you want to call it. We don't really – It's not. we're not character-based, so I don't like saying promos. But, you know, just introductions. Um, um, Fellowship of the Quiz, they definitely uh, are feeling themselves. You know, Mesa with his wrestling background, Brian with his, you know, um, being in the comments. You know, he's always in the comments, so he's definitely – he's a fan of uh, talking smack. And then uh, the Pittsburgh Kiwis. Uh Players that have been doing this for a long time, but have never teamed up, and you know, you know, we we if you fun fact back in the day, um, Russell used to be uh, Chance's team partner in the the t in the fan league. So it's one of those where it's like you know he definitely has you know an eclectic you know history, and then Malcolm, he's you know up and coming in terms of his uh, comeback player of the career, not even just year, because he's been uh, having a resurgence and he's been stepping up. So I'm, I'm definitely curious to see how they uh, formulate together. And if you're wondering why I'm talking so much, it's because they barely talked. So with that said, here are the rules for round one. So, all right, so everyone, you know the drill. Hands up for round one, two, three four five six seven no, i'm just kidding all right so uh i'll do the odds you do the evens john that's good for me all right uh pittsburgh kiwis are you ready ready to roll fellowship of the quiz are you ready let's do this let's go your first question in the category of directors who directed sidewalks of new york shout out will cohen will will's a workhorse man like we, we turn around these round ones are written He's, he's a big fan of the round ones because he's like, I just can use my memory and no research, no backing up, weird shit that I like. Five. <laughs> we didn't make fun of him last time, and he didn't believe me, so I had to double down on this one. Three, two, one. We're going to start with Russell. No idea. I put Scorsese. Uh, Mesa. I put Ed Burns. Uh, Malcolm. As you're muted, but I believe you with the head Ned And Brian. I posted the rest. Um, one of you is correct. It is in fact Ed Burns on points for Mesa. Your second question comes in the category of the 1970s. Joe Turner works for what agency in Three Days of the Condor? This is borderline um, war movie questions. You know, name a 
and then you like yeah. mu guaranteed multiple choice. <laughs> like go go government agency questions come up a lot too. I realized. Yeah, it's like Almost what agency, agency you picked. What war? Uh, yeah, there's a few. Three, two, one. We'll start with Steve. It's CIA. And Malcolm. I was assuming it's an American agency, so I put CIA. And Brian. I uh, put spy agency. And Russell. I went with the other one, FBI. Two of you are right. It's the two that said the same thing. It's the CIA. CIA. Um, your third question in the category of crime. What casino does Sam Rothstein work out of in Casino? So it's a weird way of just saying, what's the name of the casino in Casino? Pretty much. <laughs> we didn't want to sound tricky because, you know, challenge, oh, you like to see another casino in the background. Five. True. Four. Three. Sometimes more information is all right. Two. One. Pens down. Malcolm. Caesar's Palace. Um, Brian. I also put Caesar's Palace. Um, Russell. I put the Stardust. And Mesa. I put the Mirage. Does Caesar actually live here? No, because we're looking for the Tangiers. So no perfect rounds going into the rest of this match. Uh, question number four is going to come in the first strengths question. It is uh, the Pittsburgh Kiwi strength of the 1990s. Mm. What 1999 drama sees performances from Chris Cooper, Scott Bakula, and Thora Birch? You a, fran you a fan of that Scott Bakula? I'm more of a fan yeah. of Scrunchula. Jesus, all right, I'm out of here. If, if, if you don't like Quantum Leap, something's wrong with you. Quantum Leap was a great show. Uh, everything else he's in is okay, but Quantum Leap is great. Well, let's is see what the answer is. In five. five four, <laughs> three, two, one. Brian. I put Chaplin. And Russell. I got nothing. And Steve. American Beauty. And Malcolm. Oh, that's, that's a... American Beauty. American Beauty is correct. Yeah, that's definitely uh, a tough one. That's one of those ones, if you, you don't know it and you hear it, you're like, oh, yep, yeah, shouldn't do that. We uh, threw him off with that Bacula. Uh, threw him off with that Scott Bacula. I'll tell you that much. Damn, he was like, that, that's, <laughs> that's absolutely who threw me off, too. Yeah. Um, question number five. That's why I got it. <laughs> um, action adventure. What is the first crime the four horsemen commit and now you see me? And no, the answer is not appearing in this movie. If you think the movie's bad, <laughs> and they're not fashion crimes either, it's it's actual crimes. Five, four, three, repeat, repeat. two. Was that you said repeat? I heard, I heard repeat yeah. for Malcolm. Okay. Yep. You want a repeat or just an extension? I have a page. Okay. That is your first of three. What is the first crime the four horsemen commit? And now you see me. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to start with Russell. I said robbery. Um, Mesa? Bank robbery. Uh, Malcolm? I put steel in your car. And Brian? I put robber bag. So as a precedent, we've said in other matches, with it round one, robbery is acceptable. So three of the four are correct. It is robbing a bank specifically, but robbery. All right, your sixth question comes in the category of science fiction. What 2010s sci-fi film centers around a drug called NZT48? Now the question is, do you have to take 48 of them for the effects of a drug or... I think what happened was the first 47 versions of this drug probably killed people. And then this is the one. It's like Preparation H. What Preparations A through G. What was up with them? You know? Hey, can I get a repeat on that one? A full yep. repeat? Yes. What 2010s sci-fi film centers around a drug called NZT48? And five, four, three, two, one. We'll start with Steve. Red. And Malcolm. Red. And Brian. I put Lipolis. And Russell. 
Limitless is the correct answer. Uh, what, did, what did what did what did Russell have? He he. Uh, yeah, same with me. Uh, I had limitless. He, 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 he had limitless. Yep. I could yeah, I couldn't read it, so I and I it, you muffled up, so I just wanted to be clear for the score. All right, your next question: the category of two thousands. Hmm. Nicholas Cage, <laughs> Sam Rockwell, and Allison Lohman star in what two thousands film? We're not, not going to worry about royalty free music. This royalty free music is banging. No, it's, like it's, it. a, it's actually a, a YouTuber that I follow. He makes music where he doesn't he doesn't do copyrights for his music. So the intro video of the video, it's one of his songs. And then same thing with this. I just found a, uh, you know, instrumental of it. Five, four, three. I didn't, I didn't even know it was your music two, player, to be honest. I just started the last question. <laughs> two, one, because it lets you loop it. So it's, uh, you know, whatever. Um, we're going to start with uh, Mesa. Matchstick men. Uh, Malcolm. I put adaptation. Um, Brian. I put the way. And Russell. Matchstick men. Matchstick men is correct. In the second strength question, it is Fellowship of the Quiz's strength of actor filmographies. What actress can be seen in Three to Tango, Fifty Four, and Wild Things? It just it just adds a little bit to so it's, it was actually a great thing Streamyard shout out that's how we record um, had uh, had the back in the loop because you don't have to worry about that awkward silence in match let alone in post and time is up we're gonna start with Malcolm this time Sam Hoyt and Brian I put Charlie Starrett and Russell Sydney Prescott herself Neff Campbell and Steve you know. Steven Russell come up with the answer again. It is Nev Campbell. Yeah, I like her. Uh, your second to last question in the category of mystery thriller. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, <laughs> Jeff Daniels, and Isla Fisher star in what thriller? It's very, it's a very thrilling film. It's thrilling. Could be mystery. Could be mystery. Yeah, it could be. You but, then, but then the question is because it does say thriller. I believe you called it a thriller, yes. Yeah. Well, Will called it a thriller. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Brian. I could pull it. Um, Russell. Pretty sure it's a lookout. Mesa. I put down Brothers Bloom. And Malcolm. I got nothing. It's the lookout. One of those questions that I see on the doc, I'm like, wow, that's a rough one. And someone gets it right. So it makes it always makes me, you know, eat my words. <laughs> it's a very close match so far going into the last question, which comes in the category of young adult slash coming of age movies. In The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, what is the name given to the special version of the game that only occurs every 25 years? Oh, fuck. God damn it. I think that's what they say, They uh, how they refer to sex when you're married. Happens every 25 years. Tonight's the night. Oh. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> what do I do with my hands? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's find out what we do with their hands in five, four. See, that's a TikTok three, where they clip, clip two, right there. There you go. One. And I believe we'll, we'll just start with Brian. I just put the special. And Russell? I got nothing. Steve? The Hangry Games? <laughs> and Malcolm. I should, know, I should know this one, though. The answer we're looking for is the Quarter Quell. The, the Quarter, quarter Quell. quell. Yeah. Yes. With no perfect rounds, that is the end of round one. Go ahead, Henry, let's give him a recap. All right, so after round one, we have the Fellowship of the Quiz in the lead with eight points. Right behind Pittsburgh Kiwis at seven. So before we uh, figure out who's going to go first and second, here are those rules for round two. All right, Kiwis, uh, we've been run down of the categories. Are you ready for your first spin? Ready to roll. Let's... And the spin is in. Your first option is 1990s. I'm, I'm good with keeping it. How about you, Malcolm? Yep. Let's do it. All right. No party like party from 1990. I don't know the song. 
I'll, I'll, I'll read these. All right. All right. Um, Pittsburgh Kiwis, you ready for your questions in the category of the 1990s? Yep. Yeah. All right. Your first question. In seven, which deadly sin does John Doe represent? Does John Doe represent? All right, so there's gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, pride, lust, and envy. Um, that's near the end. Uh, I, I mean, could it possibly be envy? Because um, the, I think they go through the sense of order. Fire. Do you want to go to multiple choice? Just yeah, let's, sure? let's go ahead and go with envy. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Yeah. That is correct for two points. Just I thought I thought so. I just wanted to double check on that. Just a future you. reference in in that scenario. If the countdown runs out, the let runs out. The last thing you say would be accepted. So that's okay. Just, yeah. So you, you would have gotten the points either way. I just want to make sure you're in the house. Okay. The other I just I, I just want to go make sure we what we were communicating with that. Okay. okay. But it, yeah. we, we would prefer final answer. Yeah, as always. I got you. Good. Cool. Your second question: What 1990s film features performances from Leonardo DiCaprio, Meryl Streep, and Diane Keaton? That's Marvin's room. Yep. Final answer. That's correct for two points. Your third question. Which action film is Steven Seagal's directorial debut and his only directorial credit? Oh, fuck. Uh, well, just, yeah, I know you're, I know you're just. I got you. Um, God, man. There's so many movies out there, Steven, so I can name you from the 90s. I just don't know. Yeah. And it, the multiple choice is just going to be that, though. But we, you want to take the multiple? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead. Multiple choice. The multiple choice answers are A, on deadly ground, B, fire down below, C, marked for death, or D, out for justice. <laughs> I'm thinking it's fire down below. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm good to go. Let's there. go fire down below, final. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The choices, again, are... All right. uh, for Fellowship of the Quiz, A, on deadly ground, B, fire down below, C, marked for death, or D, out for justice? I think I think it might be on deadly ground. What do you say, Brian? I, I agree with that. Let's go with that. On deadly ground, final answer. That is correct for a one-point scale. I knew, they were, gonna be, I knew they were all going to be names of Steven Seagal movies, so it was what it yeah. was. <laughs> Your last question. What is the last name of the two brothers played by Will Ferrell and Chris Kattan, who are the main characters of A Night at the Roxbury? Oh, isn't that Doug, Steve and Doug Watabi, the Watabi brothers? Yeah, I'm good for that. The Watabi brothers? Final answer. That is incorrect. Chance for a two-point steal. Watabi brothers. Final answer. Say that again, Brian. Watabi, B-U-T-A-B-I, Watabi. That is correct for two points. It's the Butabi brothers. All right. So I gave that one away. I'm sorry there, uh, Malcolm. With that yeah. set, with that done, I think the end. I have a tie at eleven. Right. That is what I have as well. Okay. An unfortunate steal there, but you know we'll see if uh, they can get their steals back with uh, fellowship spin right now. All right, fellowship, your first spin. Movies from the 2000s. Well, I think of all of this was the. I do like I do like the 2000s. I, what do you, are you feel comfortable with it, or you want to try to spin again? You all try. We all spin again. We might get a better category. Yeah. Spin again. Yeah, spin again. All right, you are stuck with. The 2000s. We'll just edit that part out, guys. All right, let's see what you get from the 2000s right now. All right, from the 2000s with the score 11 to 11. Ewan McGregor and Nicole Kidman headline what musical drama? Moulin Rouge, Final Answer. That is correct. Your second question. Matt Dillon is dealing with health care issues regarding what family member in Crash? Wait, the others will see. Multiple choice. Yeah, multiple choice, please. All right. Is it A, uncle, B, brother, C, grandfather, or D, father? I think it might be the father. Okay, let's go with that. Father, father, father answer. That is correct for a point. Uh, your third question. 
Tom Cruise starred in what 2002 thriller adapted from a novel by Philip K. Dick? By, by Dory Report? By right. Sir? That is correct for two points. And your final question. Jason Lee voiced the titular character in what animated film? What do you think this one, Steve? Multiple choice. Yeah, multiple choice. Is it A, Underdog, B, Bolt, C, Brother Bear, or D, Marion Max? Yeah, it was Underdog. A, Underdog, final answer. Yep. And that is correct for one point. All right, so after a solid uh, round of the 2000s, uh, Fellowship is up 17 to Kiwi's 11. That's correct. All right, so before we go into round three, here are the rules. In the category of the 1990s for two points. Who played Deacon Frost in Blade? Isn't that uh, Chris Christopherson, isn't it? Is he, wait, uh, is it? No. Never mind, that was not him. I, I mean, I've not seen it, so I don't have oh, Deacon Frost? Russell. Thank you. Uh, no, he was Whistler. Never mind. Five. Four. I'm going to go Steven three, Dorf. Final three. answer. That is correct. Because I think he was Whistler, I believe, in that one. You're correct. Yeah. Right, three points. In Fight Club, what is the narrator's spirit animal that he envisions multiple times throughout the film? Man, it's been a minute since I see this one. Do you have any idea there, uh, Malcolm? An animal? Do you remember any type of animal in the movie Fight Club? No, I don't. Spirit animal. Five. I mean, I'm inclined to say maybe rabbit, Four. but I don't even need to get to guess. Let's, let's go. That's fine. Let's go with it. Rabbit final. Um, unfortunately, that is incorrect. We're looking for a penguin. Okay, I wouldn't have gotten that either way, so you're good. All right, uh, Pittsburgh Kiwis, you're going to have to hit your five-pointer here to take the lead and avoid a TKO. Are you ready? Ready. For five points. In Undercover Blues, what is the name of the stolen plastic explosive Jeff and Jane Blue are tasked to retrieve? <laughs> that would require me actually seeing that movie, so I have no idea. Any idea? I have absolutely no idea. I'm not sure not see this movie. Go ahead and repeat it. Repeat the question. All right. One remaining. In Undercover Blues, yeah. what is the name of the stolen plastic explosive Jeff and Jane Blue are tasked to retrieve? I've never seen it, so I have no idea. Oh man, have you you've never seen it either, Malcolm? No. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Five, well, we know it's called the Lost Points. Four, <laughs> three. I, we got nothing. Two. The Lost Points, fun ones. Yeah, the Lost Points. There you go. <laughs> and your winners, moving on to the second round of the tournament, Fellowship of the Quiz. We were looking for C twenty two, C twenty two. Yes. So with that said, we're going to jump into post-talk right now. Right, fellowship of the Quiz. Uh, it's one of those scenarios where you respun something on the wheel, but you ended up doing very well with it. Um, did you guys just not like the generality of the category, or were you just not as comfortable with the whole decade of the 2000s? I mean, 2000s is a broad category. You can get a question from a film of that decade. Exactly what Brian says. You, you don't want to risk it. Uh, to just to go on generality, we like to go with specific, you know, specific types of uh, of movies. But you know, we we actually got all of them correctly. You know, so I mean, maybe you know, maybe it's something that that we might keep in our back pocket for future re for future uh, matches. You never know. But uh, I think we did very well, especially with the, the Brian pulled it out with that with that uh, that steal of the Butabi brothers. That that really put us yep. over. I think yep. so. And those two steals uh, really put us over. And you know. We, we did what we said we were going to do, and, and we walked away with the victory. Yeah, that was definitely a big one there. And uh, you guys will be um, facing the winner 
of the battle the battleground combat club which is austin pez howell and aaron canole and uh the sandy tato which is tato and sandy any preference in uh that matchup it'll be fun it'll be great play, uh to be tato so uh yeah i mean you know i'm 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 kind of sandy and tato are a really good team i saw their previous match uh i actually would like i would probably go against i would prefer uh pez and austin uh, that would be a good match, actually. I'd love to face Austin, a uh, bit of chat before, so might as well face him. Yeah, uh, I mean, either match is going to be good for one of us. Uh, I'm just a little scared of Tato's knowledge of the Kevin Smith movie, so I, I, that one I do not want to touch with a 10 foot pole there. So if anything, I prefer Austin, who might have a poor advantage, which I can match with the win. That's fair. I, I respect that. All right, well, uh, you guys played well. Um, congratulations on that, and see you in round two. All right, um, the Pittsburgh Kiwi. So as they kind of touched on that on that last talk, that that two point steal definitely was a bummer there. Um, yeah, it was. I mean, I I, I, I walked into the water on yeah. that one. You know what I mean? All you had to do was switch a letter. There you go. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Um, is, it, is it one of those that you you rushed it and you if you truly think if you would have taken no, because you... honestly, I knew it was Abby Brothers. I just couldn't remember what the hell the beginning letter was. Yeah. That's why I said the Watabi Brothers because I thought that was. It's been a while since I've seen the Night of the Roxbury and the SNL sketches I grew up yep. watching. Yeah, um, that's a that's an honest mistake, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was there. It wasn't like I said Smith. You know, what I mean, I knew, I knew, where, we, I knew where we were going with it. Um, yeah, so, I didn't mean to say Smith. Yeah, I said Schwarzenegger. Shit, I met with Tommy. You know, or with Tommy. Um, no, hats off to him. At the end of the day, we we just didn't get it done. Um, yeah. I had a slow start at the beginning. Uh, Malcolm had a couple of the points to start. Then I started to warm up a little bit there. Um, the lookout question, uh, Marvin, or, you know, some of those other questions, I, yeah. I felt felt really good. It started getting a stride there. Nineties questions, I felt we were there. Um, yeah. That Steven Seagal movie, that, that's gonna piss me off, but <laughs> it, it is what it was because I was thinking it was either Fire Down Below, and then I was thinking Out for Justice, and then I was thinking On Deadly Ground. So I was thinking all those movies. Yep. Um, well, none of them are directed expertly, so you can you can imagine him no. directing any of them. No, because it's <laughs> it's, 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 it's cut and paste. Steven Seagal yeah. action movie. Man, I'm 90s, sure whoever man. directed this movie never did another movie. This um, one probably never did. Another. <laughs> yeah. So to me, that and then then you have the third the third round question. I'm glad I I, I navigated around uh, Stephen Dorff there. That was gonna yeah. kill me. Yeah. That, that was a good pull. Um, and the other one, the three quite the three point question. We just uh, what the hell was the three point question? The Fight Club, the Penguin. The Fight Club yeah. wouldn't have gotten that. It's been a while since I've rewatched that. And then yeah, the five fair. point question. I never even seen the movie. So yeah, I, I think if we've seen the movie, I think we were in to a spot where I think Malcolm and I could have. Uh, yeah, they, they kind of touched that on there when when they got two thousands in round oh, two. Oh, two thousands. I mean, if you yeah. know, if you've seen the movies, then a lot of times it's just were, right there. Yeah. And I, you yeah, see me. Yeah. If you see me, it's one of the. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. I would say it's one of the pitfalls of picking like a broad stripe, you yeah. know, because like you have the entire 1990s and well, the entire 2000s. If you rewatch the video, you rewatch, you see see some of my uh, my shit, uh, my <laughs> not not indirect shit talking, but just like oh my god, these questions are fucking easy that they're getting. The 2000s <laughs> questions were fucking ridiculous easy, but um, yeah. yeah. Well, so is, the, 90s, the 90s questions were strength level in 2000s. Yeah. But they were still, it, it was what it was. And, you yeah. know, I mean, that's why, you know, I, we put it out there that we're supposed to be yeah. good at this. So let's, let's, let's prove it. You know what I mean? I oh, think. Yeah. And, then, that, and that's yeah. why we went, we went this route with uh, this team's tournament of yeah. kind of making it broad. Cause yeah. we're trying, we're trying to bring together the broadness of it and not the, who can just study better. So I, I really oh, do. And that, and that, and I have said it before. I, I don't study it. It's one of those things where it's, it's either locked in a vault somewhere in my mind or it's not. <laughs> Um, if I rewatch a movie, okay, Penguin will stick in there, maybe. You know what I mean? For I agree. Club. Next I, time I you watch it, I swear to God, you're like, wow, that yeah, actually, I'm, I would know that. Um, I Malcolm, gonna, I, I know. You'd be like, wow, that's the mascot of my hockey team. How did that I get that? That's a, and no, it's a mascot <laughs> to my, as where I that went to college at, too. You're like, I'm from Pittsburgh, fucking Penguin. Right. Yeah, that is I, correct. And I went to college at YSU through the Youngstown State Penguin. I mean, if so, it yeah, makes you right. feel any better, even if you got that right, unfortunately, missing the five pointer, it didn't actually affect the match. So it's not as big of a deal. But uh, so yeah, uh, final things. Uh, you guys paired up for the first time here. Is this is this a pairing you could see you know working together, or just kind of have to go back to the drawing board and see what happens in the future? I don't think you judge it with one pairing. I mean, I, I really don't. I yeah. think there's something there. Um, you know, Malcolm got the questions I didn't get. I got questions Malcolm didn't get. Um, it's there. I, I think it's there. We just have to have a little bit more chemistry together. Yeah. Kind of kind of yeah. get to see what what he what he lacks, what I make up for, what I lack, what he makes up for. 
Um, but at the end of the day, you know, they, they did what they needed to do as a team. You know, hats off to them. I, yeah. You know, I don't, you know, I never you know, throw teams down or anything like that. They did what they had to do. They, they scored more points than us, answered the questions when they needed to. And, you know, we just couldn't keep up. But uh, definitely wouldn't mind partnering up with uh, Malcolm down the road, though, for sure. There you go. All right, Malcolm. So, uh, by the way, make sure you check out everything Malcolm's doing over in Full Metal with uh, Random. He's definitely in Classics. He's doing a great job over there. So, with that, and uh, Notorious Chance, everything that he was doing with this podcast, him and Chance. So, with that said, uh, you know, t tough road, but we'll see you guys, you know, in the next tournament or just if teams opens up league-wise. Absolutely. See you guys. Later. All right. Um, you know, it's one, it's one of those ones where this match isn't, you know, exactly how one of the teams would have wanted, but fairly close throughout, you know, it, you know, obviously TKO, but in terms of before round three, it was close. So it's one of those where, you know, I'm definitely curious to see, you know, how, how they come together in the future and fellowship of the quiz, you know, they had a, a stumble in round one and then they had a good round two and, you know, we don't know what they would have done in round three, but you know, who would have known? So with that said, my name is Henry Confidential. That is John Mara. That is John. Well, that's my son. Hey, and he's on. He's live. How's it going? Make sure, make sure you join the Facebook group. It is rebranded. It is. Uh, there will be trivia. Home, home official. Yeah, Sean Wasser crew will be so mad at you if you don't stop. Oh, where's where's Sean Wasser crew? Here he's at. It actually, did, it actually did ruin my hosting. So maybe he's onto something. Uh, make sure, make sure you go ahead and join the Facebook group. Uh, there will be trivia, um, Fisher Home for movie trivia, as well as make sure you hit the subscribe button on here. Don't be confused. We're rebranding the name, but we're just trying to pump it up because you know once October hits, tell, you never tell your goddamn friends, tell your mom, tell your dad, knock on your neighbor's door. You don't talk to that guy anyway. Ask, tell him that there will be trivia. Let's go. Exactly. Let's get you, you, you think I have 1,400 subscribers on here because they all watch the videos? No. We just want bots. Subscribe. Yeah, that's right. It's all good. We want Sign up your bots. <laughs> My name is Henry Confidential. That is John Marr. This was There Will Be Trivia. This is the team's tournament. But you will show up because there will be more kids in the background. Yeah.